Everyone, how's it going? Mitch here with another logic tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over automation and just um, some basics to it and how to get you started um, with using it. All right. So what we can easily do is come, go to our uh, keyboard and press A, and that will open up each track. And on each track, there is an automation line. Okay, and this that it's that black line going through it. If you have already edited something, it will turn uh, to a yellow or there's a green if it's a plug-in, I believe, um, something of the sort. And if you had already automated something on that line, it's going to turn yellow. If not, it's going to be black. And so, as you can see down there, what I have done is, you know, see it says volume right here. We can over a select um, amount of time, you know, maybe increase the volume, decrease it. We can edit the volume over a period of time, and that's what automation does. It tells a story of a certain effect over a period of time on a single track. Okay, uh, fun stuff, fun stuff. So what we can do is let me let me go back. We don't have to do. We don't have to just mess with volume. Say we have, you know, um, this robotic chatter track down here, and as you can see, there are uh, many plugins on it, and it's you and it's created by the ES2 synthesizer. So if we click this volume, what opens up is a ton more settings that we can automate. Very fun. We can automate the compressor, the attack, the gain over a certain period of time, the delay, the auto filter, and another delay. There's two delays on there. Weird. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but what happens is we can see that our ES2 synthesizer has a ton of different settings. And when you are, have one setting in mind, sometimes it might be too hard and take up too much time to go in there and actually search for the setting you want to automate. So you can do this really cool thing that is, if this is off, you can turn it to touch. And it will turn orange right here. Then what we can do is open up the ES2 synthesizer, and let me go right here. And then what we can do is, over a certain amount of time, edit one of these settings, and it will record to the automation line. And this will, number one, help you so you don't have to find um, the setting that you want to automate, and it will be automating it for you, and you don't have to be clicking the dots for yourself and playing it over and again, over and over again to see if it's what you want. Uh, so let's just see what happens. Uh, actually, I am going to be automating the drive on this synth. Um, you won't be able to tell it too much just because it's more of a, a spacey synth. But um, on a regular like synth lead, you will definitely be able to tell if this drive was automated. So uh, let's do it. All right, there we go. All we did was increase that drive as we recorded, and it recorded that automation to the track. Great. Now, um, a little tip that I like to do, or something that I like to do, is um, get rid of all these um, dots inside of it. A lot of people just are like, why would you do that? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but I feel like it would be better if it was just a straight line. It's better to look at, and there's not so many points. And uh, so what we can easily do is press escape and then Q, which is going to be our automation select tool. Fun. And then I can maybe possibly drag down and highlight all of the inner points and then press delete. And then our end points we can move to the be uh, beginning and ending of that track. So we have a nice increase in drive from 0 to 1 over this period of time. And we can do that with any setting in any plugin. It's a beautiful thing, and it will save you a lot of time. All right. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned a little bit of you know you know something. Um, so and if you did, um, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe. You know the deal. Um, that's all I got to say. Peace out.